All right, guys, we're gonna talk about finding deals. How so easy, we close fast and any time that works for you, your house don't So, there are lots of ways that we can find motivated sellers and that we can market to them. The five best ways to find deeply discounted properties. Some of these ways are gonna be direct mail. They're gonna be TV and radio ads. They're gonna be cold calling or cold texting. They're gonna be driving for dollars. They're gonna be banded signs. These are typically gonna be the most effective ways. All right, I would also like to add not keeping your business a secret is probably one of the best ways there are. So if you are new to this business and you are trying to get your first deal, or maybe you've already done a couple and you're trying to get more deals, and it doesn't matter if you're a wholesaler or a fix and flipper or a landlord, you need to be telling your entire network that you love to buy properties and you love to buy properties that need work and you have partners, strategic partners that you meet at local real estate clubs that are going to partner with you and fund these deals for you. So don't worry about the funding aspect of it. You are looking to find deals. And as a wholesaler, it only costs 10 bucks or maybe a hundred bucks and oftentimes in earnest money to put a property under contract with the intentions of helping the seller with the problem that they have. So do not keep your business a secret. If you do, how is your aunt Sue or your cousin Jack or your friends or your acquaintance is going to know whenever they have a property or a friend of theirs has a property that they really need to sell, how are they gonna know to bring it to you? They're not. So you need to be screaming from the rooftops. I buy houses for cash. I buy houses as is. I buy houses in as little as one to two weeks. These are the conveniences that I mentioned earlier that we are offering sellers in exchange for deeply discounted properties. So let's cover this again. What does an investor do? Specifically, a wholesaler. Well, we provide convenience to people that have a problem in their life in exchange for a discounted property. And when we have a discounted property, we're able to then market that opportunity after we get it under contract to purchase to an end buyer, a cash buyer, somebody that's going to choose the exit strategy most of the time of either rental or fix and flip. That's what we are doing. So we need to understand that this is a marketing business and we need to market to these individuals. But the most important thing is that it's a very, very bad idea for you to try to go do three of these or four of these or seven of these or 10 of these. The reason is, is because if you go try to do three or four things, you're probably not gonna be very good at any of them. Here's a perfect example. I wanna put you out in the middle of a soccer field and then I wanna put three or four rabbits and pull them out of their cage and put them out in that field. And I wanna say, hey, go catch all these rabbits. Well, if you pick one rabbit and you chase that rabbit around the field, you're gonna get that rabbit eventually. But if you see a rabbit and you run after it and you see another rabbit and you run after it and you see another rabbit and you run after it, and you're constantly chasing four different rabbits, you're probably not gonna catch any rabbits, guys. It's kind of a dumb analogy, but it's perfect in this scenario because you need to focus. You need to pick one and you need to get really good at it. And in fact, you should probably think that you've mastered that method before you move on to another method. Now, in my business, we do do all these things. We do direct mail. We do uh, radio ads. We don't do TV ads as of today, but I'd love to do some at some point. We do a lot of cold calling and a lot of cold texting. We do driving for dollars multiple times a week. And we do bandit sign campaigns all the time. We also have a website that we drive traffic to. We spend money to market that website. We do a lot of networking and let everybody know constantly that we're looking to buy houses and that we're trying to have people bring us the deals. In fact, the deals that we get from the networking activities are the highest return on investment because we're not typically spending a lot of money to go get those deals. Of course, we have to spend time, but we're not really spending all that much money to go network. But the most important thing is, is don't chase four rabbits, all right? Pick one, focus your time and energy on it, get really good at it, and then at some point, if you wanna add a second marketing method, that's okay. But ideally, you are handing off that first one to somebody else on your team. Could be a local assistant, could be a virtual assistant, right? Could be a partner, could be a spouse, but you don't wanna try to do two or three things at once because you're not gonna be very good at them. I can almost promise you that. So just pick one of these methods, all right? Now, we talked a little bit earlier about the fact that it's gonna either be time or money 
money when it comes to marketing. And that's a cold, hard fact. And it's a truth. It's going to cost you time or it's going to cost you money. So some people watching are going to say, hey, I already have a full time job and I have a couple hundred or maybe even a couple thousand dollars expensable to me every month. But I don't have a ton of time. Maybe I have a family. Maybe I have a full time job. Maybe I have multiple jobs. Right? Well, in that case, you are going to want to spend money because you don't have a lot of time into getting your message out to motivated sellers. And that message basically just says that you're looking to buy houses and that you want to pay cash, you want to close fast, and most importantly, you want to buy these properties as is. A distressed property owner that can't afford to fix it up is not going to be able to do anything to fix that property up before they offer to sell it to you. So you need to offer them convenience, which looks like cash, it looks like speed or quick, which is relative, and it looks like as is. These are the things that we're gonna be offering the motivated sellers in order to get them excited to wanna work with us while also simultaneously helping them solve a problem in their life. So guys, lots of different marketing methods. Don't try to do four of them, pick one, Maybe two, but I'm telling you, you're going to have better success in this business. If you just pick one, you master it, you dive in, you jump in, and you focus all your time and energy on that one method, all right? And if you can do two or three hours a day every day, that's going to be the best. That's going to be ideal because if you miss a day or two, no big deal. But if you're only doing these activities on Saturdays, and I think I mentioned this already, and you miss a Saturday or two or three because of weddings and parties and maybe you're sick or maybe you're traveling, then several weeks will go by without you doing these activities. So it's very, very important that you focus and you pick one of these marketing methods and you do it very, very consistently, very, very consistently. So when we are marketing to sellers, we are trying to find people that have distressed properties or distressed situations, or in some cases, both simultaneously. And we are offering to help them by buying the property that they own from them. And by them selling the property, they're going to get money, which they're going to take to other areas of their life to solve problems. So I mentioned this before, and I'm going to mention it one more time. All we're doing as wholesalers is we're trying to find really good deals, aka discounted properties in exchange for convenience that we offer a homeowner that is either distressed personally or owns a distressed property. Guys, pick one. I cannot stress this enough. And then when you get good at it, you can move on to the second or the third, but just pick one. Less is more. And also, if you're just doing one thing, you're gonna get good at it really quickly. So just keep it simple and focus on one thing at a time. You think that matters, we'll take it. You'll be glad after your payment. House is vacant, isn't pretty. Violations from the city. Try